Oh, there's a that's what she said moment. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Lee here. We're gonna learn some stuff today. Because of the amount of requests I've had for it, today I'm gonna show you exactly how I make my custom registration marks in Adobe Illustrator. The reason why I came up with and use these registration marks is because I feel like there's a lot more information for my eye to pick up since everything is a straight line. So it makes everything a lot easier to tell if there's anything crooked going on, if things are lined up properly. It makes registration a hell of a lot faster, hell of a lot easier, which in the end makes you a better screen printer. But yeah, this is super easy to do. Anyone can do this, even if you've never opened Adobe Illustrator in your entire life. So let's get into it. So the first thing we're gonna do obviously is open up Adobe Illustrator. And we are gonna go over here to create a new project. Now we're gonna set this up as a template so that we can just open it up anytime we need to and copy and paste our artwork into it. So in my case, my films are 13 by 19. So we're gonna go over here to where it says pixels. We're gonna change this over to inches. We're gonna change our width to 13, height to 19. We're gonna go down here to the advanced options where it says color mode. We're gonna change that to CMYK color because that's what you're output printer is going to print in and raster effects we want to leave at 300 ppi because that's the highest quality you can get and create next we're going to need a small amount of tools to build our registration marks our selection tool or v on your keyboard our pen tool or p on your keyboard our rectangle tool or m on your keyboard our align panel pathfinder panel and our stroke controls which can be found at the top toolbar or on the right side workspace depending on how you're set up and if for some reason you don't see any or some of those panels you can just go up here to window and open up any single one of those things and then drag and drop it into your right side workspace. Now, if you're a Mac user like me and you have one of these beautiful little bastards, those are the only tools you're gonna need. But if not, you need two more tools. The hand tool, which is H on your keyboard, which you just grab and drag and move your little workspace around. And the zoom tool, which you just click and drag to be able to zoom in and out with. But if you have the trackpad set up, you can just pinch and zoom and swipe around just like you would on your phone, makes everything a whole lot easier. I don't know what I would do without this thing. But anyways, Let's start making these things. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in a little bit here so we can see what the hell we're doing. So we wanna hit P on our keyboard to bring up our pen tool. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna use the toolbar so you can see what I'm doing. And then we just wanna click once and you can see this line drag out. Now, right now you can see I can make this line go any kind of angle I want to or length or whatever, but we want it to be straight. So to make a straight line, just hold down the shift key and it locks it down into a straight line. And then we just wanna click one more time. And then you wanna, you see this thing wants to kind of keep going. To be able to get rid of that, just hold down command. I believe it's control on a PC and click one more time and that's it. So congratulations, you just made your first line in Illustrator. So now that we've made our line, we wanna do two things to it. So we wanna go back and get our selection tool up, hit the V key, whatever click on this thing and we want to first change the stroke of it so we want to go up here to the stroke panel and change that to 1.5 and then we want to size this thing so if you want to size it you can grab it and just kind of freestyle it that's totally cool but for me i like to make things repeatable and precise so we're going to go up here to the width and height thing and we can change that to i believe i use 0.7 inches press enter and there we go. Now we wanna make a duplicate of this line and this is a cool trick. So we just grab it with our selection tool again, highlight it and then hit your option or alt key if you're on a PC and click and drag. And there you go, you got another one. We're gonna do this one more time, but we're gonna put this one way over here cause we're gonna come back to that later. Next, we wanna come back to this line here and then we wanna hit our shift key again and see when you go to the corner, you can see that kind of little bent arrow pop up. We wanna hit our shift key click and drag and now we've got a perfectly vertical line to go with it. Don't worry about aligning anything up just yet. I'm gonna drag this way over here just to show you the magic of that align tool later on. Next we wanna bring up our rectangle tool or M on your keyboard. I wanna click and drag and you can see right now I can make any kind of rectangle shape I want but we want a perfect square. So we wanna hold down our shift key again and that locks it to making a perfect square. So right there we've got a 1.5 stroke square. The only thing we have to do to this is we gotta go back up here to our fill panel and change that to no fill, which is this white box with the red line going through it, and there we go. Now, again with the square, if you bring up your selection tool, you can grab these little boxes here and size it, reshape it any which way you want to. As long as you're holding shift, it stays a square. Uh, but again, I like repeatability, so we're gonna set this up to be an actual size, and we are going to go up into this box here. We're gonna type in 0.4, and there we go. So here's where it's gonna start turning into a registration mark. We can grab these lines and kinda half-ass put them where they need to be or if you want you can put them damn near anywhere because if you have the selection tool up you can click and drag and highlight all the objects you want selected and there you go and now we want to change our alignment setup we want to click this little drop down menu up here we want to change that to align to selection go over here to your alignment panel there's another one in the top toolbar as well and click horizontal align center there you go and then click vertical align center 
and bam, that's what a registration mark looks like. But it's not quite done yet because we can still select these and move them around and mess up our whole thing that we just did. So we wanna first, we wanna group that. So we've got all of our objects selected here. We wanna hit Command or Control and G. And now it's in a group. So now when you click on it, it's everything at once. Now at this point is where a lot of people would call it a day and you definitely could, but as far as I'm concerned, we still gotta do two things to this to make it a properly completed piece of artwork. And two things that a lot of designers forget about doing is expanding objects and uniting them. So if I hover my mouse over top of this thing right now, you can see there's blue lines running down the center of it, which means Adobe Illustrator is recognizing that as a line and not as a shape. And we wanna make it a shape so that we can unite everything in the end and make this one solid piece so that it can't be changed or messed with in the end. So we just wanna click on it with our selection tool again now it brings up our whole group go up to object at the top of the screen click expand click OK now we've got a bunch of tiny little rectangles essentially so we want to leave that selected and click on unite in the pathfinder here and now we've got one solid shape that is one finished registration mark you did it I told you it's super easy but we're not done just yet so let's zoom back out and go back to that line and square that we left as duplicates at the start we're gonna make one more kind of registration mark here before we lay out our little template. So we're gonna click on that, click our option drag thing again, bring that over. We're gonna hit shift and rotate this one up vertically. Cool. Go back to this one and go to the size here where it says width. We're gonna change that to 2.5 inches. And now we are going to select them all again. Go back to our line tool horizontal line center, vertical line center, boom. Group that, there's our other kind of registration mark. And we are going to expand it, and we're going to unite it just the same as the other one, so that is one solid shape. Now the reason behind this one registration mark being different than the rest is because that long horizontal line makes it very easy to tell if the screen's a little bit crooked or not, plus it makes registration easier because you can get within like 95% accuracy just looking at that one mark and not all the ones we are gonna place on this template. So we're pretty much there. We just gotta line a few of these up around our page and that's it. So to finish this off, it's super easy. We're gonna zoom out so we can see our entire page here. We're gonna do our little option click drag and make a duplicate of that little guy We're gonna put that over there put that there it doesn't really matter where they land because we got our selection tool up so we can grab all these at once we're gonna align them using the vertical line center here so now they're all perfectly in a straight line and then we're gonna distribute them so we're gonna go to the tool underneath it and horizontal distribute center and now they are perfectly gapped between each other and while we still got them all selected we can go command or control G make a group out of them and now we can move them all as one anywhere across the screen. Next, we're gonna go up here to change our alignment options. So we're gonna change to align to artboard and go to our alignment panel, horizontal align center. And now it's smack dead in the center of the screen. If we move that way over here, we can go back, click it, and it will keep it perfectly in the center of our artboard every single time. And to move it up and down, if you hold the shift key, it will stay locked there. So let's move that to the top of the page. Boom, there we go. And one more time, we're gonna do our option click drag thing and make a duplicate of that. Set it down here at the bottom of the screen. If we hold shift, it will stay locked center with the other one. And there we go. Now, if you want, you can select both of these at once and group it so that that stays locked the way it is. But I like to leave the two separate because let's say you're dropping in a piece of artwork, I don't know, this size. And now you can see the registration mark is like way, way down at the bottom. We wanna bring that up closer. So we wanna move that up to say there and be able to grab this and drag it up close to there so that it's even and nice. Let's say you forgot to use the shift key and you moved this one way over here and that one way over here. Or if you wanna just center up your artwork between the two registration marks, this is something I do every time. You can select them all at once. As long as you're set up to that aligned artboard selection and do horizontal align center, click that you're good to go. Or if you'd like to change the registration marks at all, there's a few more examples. Like let's say we've got uh, a really small piece of artwork. So let's say we've just got this tiny little guy and we don't need all this extra stuff. So if you want, you can make a duplicate of it. You can hit Shift Command G, ungroup those things. We can delete that. We can just use these two little guys because that's all you're really gonna need. Select them, put them to the center. There you go. But in the end, this is what your file should look like. Just go file, save as, save whatever, put that somewhere you can find it. And now anytime you need to start making some transparencies, just copy and paste your artwork into here, 
move the registration marks accordingly and you're ready to go. See, that wasn't very hard now, was it? Oh, there's a that's what she said moment. But yeah, super easy to do and it will definitely help you step up your registration game on press. At least it did for me. But by no means am I saying lock yourself into using these. This is just what works best for me. With the tools and tricks that I showed you in this video, you might be able to make your own that work way better for you. And they might even work better than mine. If they work better than mine, let me know because I want to try them out. That's going to wrap this thing up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and hopefully you learned something. Let me know down below how I did on my first tutorial. I feel like it went okay. After we knock out a few of these basics, if you guys are still digging it, maybe we'll do some of the cool shit that Illustrator can do. But throw a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you again in the next one. Thank you.